There's a great story about you, and I just sort of remember it in the back recesses of my mind, where you called up a broker somewhere yes. and said, buy everything yes. on the market. No, but, but, but almost, Charlie. Almost. And the, the guy comes back and he says, I bought everything for you, a small number of shares, and all these companies, uh, and except those that were bankrupt. Correct. And you call back and said, right. buy them too? Yes, right. Correct, Charlie. Um, gee, you're well informed. <laughs> uh, when I got my first job after coming back from Oxford, it was with a company that later turned out to be Merrill Lynch, and I worked for a man there named Dick Platt. Mm -hmm. And then later when I had my own company, Hitler invaded Poland. Mm -hmm. Well, it was clear if ever the companies that are worthless and are, are losing money ever come back to life, it's during a major world war. So the, a couple of days after Hitler invaded Poland, I looked over the, all, all the New York Stock Exchange and the American Stock Exchange. There were 104 companies whose prices had gone down below a dollar a share. And so I, I called up Dick Platt and said, buy me $100 worth of everything below a dollar a share. And he did what you just said. He called call back and said, we're doing it. But 37 of them are in bankruptcy. And I said, oh, no, those are the best of all. The one outstanding one, Charlie, was the $7 preferred stock of Missouri Pacific Railway. It had gotten down to 12 cents a share. Yeah. It would, hadn't paid dividends in years, but boy, railroads come back in a war. So we bought 800 shares for $100, and when it got up to 40 times what I paid for it, I sold out and went off, up to 105. My goodness.